Hey yo, y'all, it's Brian here. Merry Christmas to you guys if you yeah, watched my video earlier in the day. But yeah, the Grinch came to the 49ers at Levi Stadium. 49ers lost this game, I think by, I believe by score 30 something at the 19. Yeah, it was not a good game at all. I mean, we were making fun of other teams like the Cowboys, the Dolphins. They were having blowout games, getting blown out. But now it's our turn, right? Not the best day of our lives. Well, could have been worse, but still, not losing by two touchdowns. I mean, I didn't see that coming. I don't think a lot of you guys saw that coming, too. But congratulations to the Ravens, Lamar Jackson, and them. I saw the 49er players. They were very respectful to him. And, yeah, he much deserves it. Very good quarterback, and, you know, I do stand by that. What I said during my prediction videos and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of changes, a lot of stuff. I mean, I, you know, the loss was one thing, but losing a couple of players during the game, that sucked even more. Losing Trent Williams, Aaron Banks, Brock Purdy, you know, I I will be talking about him in a sec. That, that, that Those are all big losses right there. I mean, when you lose number 71, the offensive line gets fallen apart, and that's what exactly what happened. And speaking of our man, Brock Purdy, Ooh, you want to talk about a game to forget? That was definitely a game to forget. Four interceptions. I've never seen that before by Brock Purdy in my life. I don't even know what that meant. But when I saw like the fourth one, I, I thought I was living in another reality. It was like when Jake Moody missed his field goal at the end of the game against Cleveland. That's what, exactly what the, it felt with Brock Purdy. I was like, how does this even happen? Is this even reality? Yeah. Oof. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. I, I believe the only guy that showed up really on offense was Brandon Ayuk. Ayuk was pretty good for the most part. He, you know, the bright spot. Christian was okay, but everybody else fell asleep on the offensive side. Very unusual for that, but it happened. Defensively, I thought they did an okay job, but, you know, they just couldn't do anything else with all the turnovers. It was it was just too much for them. Uh, I'll, I'll give them that. But at the same time, they did allow a couple of field goals, a touchdown. They got a safety. That was one of the weirdest safeties I've ever seen. Lamar Jackson tripping on a ref and the ref having a funny, funny expression for that. But other than that, you know, the offense, that was the big loser of the day. I usually do winners, but yeah, I mean, there's not that many winners for this game against Baltimore. This was a marquee matchup. And did it live up to the hype? Well, if you're a Baltimore fan, I guess it did. But for the 49ers faithful, including myself, definitely did not. So hopefully the 49ers learned from this. Hopefully they, they they got whooped in the butt and learned from this, I guess. But the injuries, a little bit concerned about that. I can't wait to see what Kyle Shanahan and them have updates for the rest of the week. Seeing Trent Williams and Aaron Banks and them will be available. Yeah, Sam Darnold did come in the game. Did have a touchdown, but had an interception at the end. Typical day, right, for the 49ers. Typical night. With five interceptions total, four by Brock, one by Sam himself. So, mm, yeah, very hard to watch. Very, very difficult to watch. But hey, it still had a lot of fun. I mean, football is football at the end of the day. But it's not fun when your team is losing and the way they lost. You, yeah. We finally got the other way around because we were blowing the Cowboys, the Eagles, all these other teams. But then when, you know, it's our turn to get whipped. Yeah, it's not a fun feeling. I know it. I know how you feel now, Philadelphia and Dallas fans. Not fun at all. So, yep, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Christmas. Comment below what you think, and I'll catch you guys up later. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Hope you have a good rest of your day, rest of your night. Congrats to the Ravens, and, yeah, let's cry in a corner right now.